You're now watching NTV at One. We are live online and on air. Many thanks once again for joining us. I'm Romeo Busiku. Now, Parliament's Committee on Commissions, Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises has summoned the former KCC Executive Director, Jennifer Musisi, to explain the alleged illegal reductions of monthly contributions from KCCA staff to the NSSF. On 14th February, the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, directed the committee to investigate claims that since 2012, permanent staff have been contributing to NSSF, yet under the Pension Act and Public Service, they are entitled to pension and gratuity. Committee Chair Person Mubarak Munyagwa says Musisi is required to explain under what arrangement this money was being remitted to NSSF. Let's link live. Thank you very much for joining us here. The committee of Kwasase where officials from NSSF appeared and they were explaining issues of uh, uh, money that has been uh, remitted by officials from KCCA uh, being the monthly contribution of some workers within KCCA. On 14th February, the Speaker of Parliament instructed the committee to investigate a petition by a whistleblower regarding uh, this money. Uh, joining me on set is uh, the chairperson of the committee, Honorable Mubala Kamunyagwa. Honorable, today you had officials from NSSF. NSSF. Yes. What are the issues, the real issues at hand? No, actually, it is uh, one issue, but uh, which sounds so big in a, in a manner that it was uh, committed with a lot of impunity. Uh, NSSF is charged with the mandate of uh, I don't know of uh, how can I say of keeping uh, uh, of keeping the so social security fund of t it is the custodian of this of the entire social security fund of private employees all across the country. What they did, they went ahead to remit to receive remittances from KCCA, which is not a private entity. Uh, uh, from right from 2011 to date. Uh, what is happening at KCCA? People came in on contract basis. However, after three months, most of them w did interviews and were confirmed by the Public Service Commission. The, most of the workers in the KCCA are permanent and pensionable. But what has been done, money has always been deducted from, the, from workers' emoluments and salary. And they have always remitted that money to, to NSSF. The Solicitor General came in, he wrote an opinion in which he advised, in which he directed that the remittance, those remittances were irregular. Since those people are permanent and pensionable, the Solicitor General went ahead to advise that they are subject, they are subject to the Pension Act. However, we, to our surprise, officers from the NSSF told us that they have remi been correcting over 600 million per month from KCA workers, from KCA, and so far they have corrected a total of over 800 billion. And uh, we, it's on that note that the speaker requested us to investigate that petition which was brought in by, the, by some whistleblowers. Uh, on and what is most important, the issue, as you said, why did they disregard the Solicitor General's opinion and went ahead to irregularly collect, deduct money from workers? We understand that you've summoned the former Executive yes, Director of KCCA. Yes, yes. She was in charge when uh, this money was being uh, alleged yes. to, be have, to, have, to have been deducted illegally. What, what exactly do you want from her? No, what is prima facie is that there, there, was a clear, there, there was a clear corrosion between the former ED and the management at the NSSF. Because uh, when I went through the schedule that was submitted before me, there are months where the ED used not to remit money to NSSF. Her own remittances were missing in, in the various months. You could find Jennifer Musise Makura, as the ED of KCA remitting zero, but the rest of the workers under her, they are remitting money, lots of money, two million. Okay. So that's why we got, uh, you got, I put it, I asked them, that's, why was the ED not remitting? You saw how they fumbled up and down. So, but I think there was, uh, there was some collusion, I may talk of a, a collusion between the former ED and the NSSF. Thank you very much. That is Honorable Mubarak Amunyagwa, the chairperson of uh, Kosase, uh, talking to us about 
what has transpired in the committee. Back to you in the studios. That's the latest coming in from Parliament as legislators summon the former KCA director, that is Jennifer Musisi, to explain the illegal remittances to NSSF from the uh, KCCA staff in that regard. We shall continue to keep tabs on that story and bring you more details in our subsequent news bulletins. Thank you very much.